join me for another episode of Bioshock Infinite. This is Jewel Smith and I am playing my way through Bioshock the Collection on PS4. Thank you. It says I can't seem to get in there. I don't know what kind of vending machine that is. Kind of similar to the dollar bill but not quite. Can't seem to get into it. Uh, Alright, well I guess we're going to Head upstairs. We seem to be, uh, what are we doing here? We're looking for Chen Lin, the gunsmith. We are also looking for a code book. We found a cipher in the last episode. Huh? Which I'm assuming is a Vox Populi cipher. Volley gun, pistol, shotgun, sniper. Nope. I think I have upgraded my machine gun as much as I can. I like the machine gun. I'm gonna stick with it. Oh, what's this? Want it? Sure, lay it on me. Crime comes to Shantytown. Let's take a look. Finkton worker housing has been plagued by panhandling. Vagrancy. Destruction of Fink manufacturing property. And worse. Fink blames his head of security. The boss has no patience for failure. Alright. Was that the head of security down there who was nailed up? Let's find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Well, now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. Firemen, be careful! All right, all right, all right. Let's take a look around here and see what we got. Can open tears. Yes, yes. It's quite the eager beaver, isn't he? Oh, 
I guess he doesn't automatically uh, commit suicide when it wears off, huh? have an RPG, thanks. Oh, that's a hand cannon. Yeah, I don't need that. What the heck? I wanted to come down here and loot this dude. Can I do that? This young go-getter is a former devotee of Lady Comstock. But without the old gal, what? What to do with themselves? Pick this one up at a hiring fair for a song. All right, so I gotta fight wave after wave of this stuff, huh? That is. Let's see, what are what are my polygon? Gun. I don't need the volley gun. Uh oh, there's a dollar bill over here. Hey, dollar bill, how you doing? Hey, actually, let's try suggesting the dollar bill and see what happens. You guys have been suggesting that to me. I keep forgetting to do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, how's my health? I don't think it's that bad. I'm gonna hang on. I'm gonna wait for that. Uh, salt. No, not yet. I want my uh, machine gun ammo. There we go. I'm getting low on that. Ah! Oh, because there's salts right there. It 
would be fewer mouths to feed. <laughs> Oh, wrong thing. I kill that motorized patriot? <laughs> Looks like I did. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of the crank gun, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave that be. Go ahead. Congratulations to Wit! You know, when your name was first passed to me, I wasn't quite sure you were the man for the job. <laughs> but now, I can say with certainty that I was quite wrong. I'm not interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. Uh oh. Booker, there's a door over here. I think that's the way down. Alright, thanks, Elizabeth, but I'm just gonna search around here and see what's what and what I can find. Doesn't look like it. Ooh, what's in here? Oh. Oh, my salts are full. Here's some cash. Cash, Mr. DeWitt. Thanks. I was grabbing the ones on this table and the lockpick. And the infusion. Nice. Okay. What are we going to go with? Um, I do seem to be using my salts just a little bit more than I used to. So, you know, it might be worth uh, increasing those. But I do really love having a strong shield. I suppose that makes me sort of like a tank, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm not in power armor, but that's sort of what this is. It's making me uh, very well protected. Um, yeah, I don't think it's been too much of a problem getting low on salts. But it may become a problem later on as the game becomes more difficult. Uh, uh, decisions, decisions. I'm going to go with the shield. Might as well. better already. Maybe max that out and then start adding to other things. Shotgun. My salts are full. What else can we find in here? Mm. 
There we go. We still haven't found that code book. I don't remember there being a hint as to where the code book would be. We found a code book uh, a few episodes back. But when we found the cipher, there was also a hint as to the location of the code book. I don't remember seeing a hint about the location of the code book when we found this cipher recently. I think Elizabeth said something like, oh, it might be in the Good Time Club or something. get one every so often. I, don't, I have no idea how many I'm going to need further on down the road. So I'll grab one now and then when I have the spare cash for it. Alright, I'm full up on machine gun ammo. Let's get a little more RPG ammo. That's good. It doesn't seem to be a way to get up there. Maybe if we go through there, we'll come back around here. I have no way of knowing because there's not a map that I can pull up. I just want to make sure that I've looted everything there is to loot up here. I'm full up on health, right? Yeah. Find anything good, Elizabeth? She helps me out sometimes. Which is nice. That's nice in a companion. Saying, hey, Booker, over here. Check this out. I think we've looted all the things up here. I think we've looted everything downstairs that there is to loot. Oh, well, there's some salts. We don't need them. Nice bar, though. I like the Good Time Club. Hmm. Did you find something? No? Okay. All right. Guess we'll head on. Head on through. Oh, there's a box of phone. Let's listen to that. I had thought you a fool, dear brother. When you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But not only have you made your fortune from these doodads, you have lit the path for me as well. Music coming from holes in thin air. Is that sort of like what we heard? I think it was in the last episode, there was a tear, but it was red instead of blue. Oh. And there was music coming from it. <laughs> a song from, uh, from the 60s, I think. It sounded like. So apparently these holes in space-time that she interacts with, some of them can find things for me, like weapons, but I guess some of them also go through different... Come on. I guess they're like time travel? She's kind of like the Time Lord, but she doesn't have a TARDIS. Elizabeth for getting right in front of me too. They don't ever seem to see her. I 
And she'll walk right in front of me. I really wish she would stay behind me. It, it's... It's frustrating. Alright. Wanted. Vox Anarchist. Dead or alive. Is that me? I don't think that's me, is it? We've seen that hat before. Do all the Vox Populi people wear that hat, maybe? There's Daisy. Labor agitator, huh? Okay. Pointing that out. Can you get this open? Looks now see, enough. some of these locks, it says hairpin lock, and that means she can pick I them without. For folks like Fink. Really? Yeah, those were the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. Done. Anyway, uh, hairpin lock means that she can do it without using any of my lock picks. But then I don't really understand what the point is. It just seems to slow down the flow of the game. I mean, if she can pick it without using any resources. See, like, there's a lock pick right there. But if she doesn't need it, then what's the point of even having the lock on the door except for, you know a moment that they can exchange conversation. Who's there? Your head off. And that just wasted some salt because it hit the box instead of hitting the person. He's gonna kill himself now. Who are you? You hold on to this. There's the code book. That's it. That's the book for the clock shop. Use the cipher to crack the Vox code. So does that mean we're going to end up going back through that area we were in before? Or do I have to backtrack? I don't want to backtrack all the way back there at this point. So hopefully we will uh, pass through there again. Alright, Chen Lin, room 9... Found the code book. Tell us what you know about Fitzroy, you goddamn gook. We know you can hear us. You want to say something? Or you want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company? Uh, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. Alright, so they've been torturing Chen Lin. He may already be dead. Oh, what's that smell? Ain't no 
privies down here. They treat them like animals. through the valley. Huh. Look at what good people have done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this. Fink don't need much of a reason. No. To tax the black more than the white, is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races, is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red, is that not cruel? But is it not cruel to banish your children from a perfect garden? Or drown your flock under an ocean of water? Cruelty can be instructive. And what is Columbia if not the schoolhouse of the Lord? Number six, huh? Holy shit. Is that Slate? It's Slate. He looks... You were right. Sparing him was no mercy. Yeah, Slate wanted me to kill him and all of his men. And I didn't. I spared him because I was like, dude, I'm not here to kill you. I just want shock jockey and get the hell out of here. But I guess now he's a uh, catatonic, been tortured, seems to be in a wheelchair. Maybe I should have put him out of his misery. Should I do it? I suppose that was what he wanted. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Didn't drop anything for me though, you bastard. All right, moving on. Oh wow, he had a health kit. Careful for that blood there, Elizabeth. Don't be walking through that. Wow, there's a machine gun. I think I'm full up though. Yeah. Oh, there's Chen Lin's cell. Let's open this up. Requires five picks, huh? Got a sure. Lot. It's picking. Oh, this won't take long at all. There. All right. While you're at it, do this one. Want to take a look at this? Let me have a look. That one doesn't take any lot of picks, it, huh? Yep. Number nine. All right. So what's in here? Ready. A piece of gear. Looks like that's all there is. Oh, and some silver eagles. All right. Well, that'll almost pay for one of the lock picks that I used to get in here. New hat. Electric touch. 50% chance that a melee target is stunned. Victim is vulnerable for three seconds. Seems like most of this gear is designed to help you be a better melee fighter, which is not what I'm going with. But yeah, it's an interesting idea for a, a variant on playing through if you want to play through as a melee build. Just, you know, be on the lookout for gear and wear all the right gear. And I imagine you'll be uh, whacking the crap out of people. <laughs> uh, I'll stick with my machine gun. I'm good. What am I wearing? All right, I'm wearing that. No, I'll just take the gear. I'm good. All right. Don't know if that was worth five lockpicks, but okay. Do it. You're a liar. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling, but I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, DeWitt, not hyenas. 
I have no idea what that even means. My business with Fitzroy has come to an end. Does that mean he's killed Chen Lin? For being in cell number nine, this is an awfully big uh, cell, quote unquote. Oh, it's saving. What's happening? Where are we going? What's coming next? It's an awful lot of blood. Go on, Elizabeth. You like to run up ahead of me. Why don't you go on in there and tell me what's what? Tell me what you see. All that blood, Elizabeth. Yeah, he's dead. Alright, so now what? Am I supposed to talk to her? Am I supposed to talk to him? Investigate body, okay. We're too late. God damn it. This is what he meant. What who now meant? we need to find someone else to make those guns. Oh, Fink. Yeah. No. Duh. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead? Is dead. What? How the hell did I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here? From this angle. Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but how? It's like riding a bicycle. Really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. Where'd they go? What are if they go into the stair? I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Uh, I guess I don't have a choice because that's what the game wants me to do. Uh, but yeah, I uh, have to go through the tear, but she can't bring us back, so we can go to an alternate reality. An alternate Columbia, or we can just stay here and do what exactly? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I don't have a choice, but if you go into an alternate Columbia, then... I mean, uh, I don't understand any of this. Because who's to say that the, the situation's the same over there? Like, if I'm going to step through this and she can't bring me back... And I'm stuck over there. We're both stuck over there, but oh, whatever. Okay. Let's do it. I mean, that's what I have to do. I've got nowhere else to go in this game. Look, there's no blood and no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Right. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's that's what I'm trying to say here. That how do we know that the reality on this side of the coin or this side of the tear is going to be the same as the other reality? Am I going to run into myself? Is there going to be an Elizabeth still trapped in the tower? Uh, I mean, what exactly is going to happen here? We have no fucking clue. So how in the world does it behoove us to find Chen Lin if we can't get back? Well, she says she doesn't know if we can get back. I mean, maybe we will, but I'm just saying... What's the point of coming to this side to find Chen Lin if the whole world's completely different and they don't really need me anyway? They don't need the guns from Chen Lin. Hold to pick up a repeater. What's a repeater? Is it kind of like my machine gun? Alright, I'll bite. 
Uh, but it's not upgraded. But maybe in this reality, that's all I can do is this repeater. Maybe there won't be machine gun ammo. All right, I'm I'm guessing. I don't know. We'll we'll try it. We'll see what happens. All right, I guess I'm stuck with a repeater now. An angry mob is what I hear. Oh, lots of prisoners. Bunch of Vox Populi people in prison. They weren't there before. Vox Populi Crime Board is still there, so okay, they're still the enemy of the people of Columbia, I guess. This is all different. repeater ammo, but I think I'm full up on it. Oh, uh, this is where that guy was. That had the gear. Wow. Whole lot of people in prison. Oh, there was machine gun ammo. Maybe I should stick with my machine gun. Well, maybe I'll find another one. Come on, you piece of bullshit. Tell me about Daisy. Cut him loose. What? Schofield says cut him loose. They're bringing his tools to the lockup. Schofield? Keep him clean, I guess. Why? What are you? The Columbia Gazette? The chink's wife got friends in high places. Come on. We need to settle. Oh, so he got released in this reality. There's not a bunch of blood all over the place. So now we gotta I go don't find him. How Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. Right, that's what I'm saying. Everything's gonna be different and weird. Oh, the bird looks dead. And they're burning posters and books. They're having a book burning, it looks like. Disposal. Looks like in this reality they have managed to catch the Vox Populi. Ah, the Vox Threat. Daisy Fitzroy, Abernathy Cook, dead. Morgan Creed, wanted. Michael Cassius? Or Cassius? We must find this bitch. Carbines are still in the same place. I'm going to stick with this repeater just to try it out. These men. I killed them. They were dead. Not in this world. Look at their noses. They're all bleeding. I'm disgusting. Disgusting. Sick. 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 
What's going on here? I hate one of one of me. Who do I hate? Can't tell which one. Remember. Remember what? Being dead. Alright, Elizabeth? You're a little glitchy there. Is this gonna be another shootout? Well, since I don't what know. What is going on here, Sasmark? Has my head of security? I suspect oh. you'll want to find out how oh, these two slipped past your men and what they were doing in the Coming from. What are you going? Oh, I can pick up the machine gun again. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that since I've upgraded it. I like its rate of fire better. I will kill you. I'll cripple you. Coward. Where is this guy? Oh, there he is. The head of security guy. My head hurt. The guy who was head of security. Yeah, I remember. Nope, I don't want the repeater. It's alright. It's similar to the machine gun, but it seems to have a slower rate of fire. I'll just stick with what I got. How do I get up on here? There's the stairs. There's a guy up here. I want his hot dog. <laughs> there we go. And his and his bullets. And his rounds. Machine gun rounds. Oh, there's a dollar bill here. Grab another lockpick. Sure. Yeah, I'm pretty full. I'm pretty full on machine gun ammo. We'll stick with that. How needs competition when you have quality? Except there's not a bunch of tears here for her to interact with. We had a bunch of tears when we came in through the other reality. Alright. Moving on. Gunsmith set free. Let's take a look at that kinetoscope. All charges dropped for Chen Lin. What could have led to this reversal? The smart money's on his brother-in-law, Fink's head of security. Ah. 
Oh, Fink's head of security was married to Chen Lin's sister? Interesting. That was allowed here? Because I thought they didn't like interracial relationships and that dude looked like a white dude. Yeah, this is where he was uh, tacked up right there on the sign, remember? But he's not tacked up there now. Leave the Good Time Club. Yes! Let's go back out to the Plaza of Zeal and see how the rest of this alternate reality has changed. And then I'm going to have to say thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you've had a good time. Because my alarm just went off. Telling me that I've been now, playing for about 45 Jeremiah minutes. Fink has a philosophy. You see, your company is like Noah's Ark. You have the lions whose purpose is to keep order amongst the lesser creatures <laughs> then if you're enjoying you yourself please leave a like subscribe tell your friends now, and join me for the next exciting episode labor and then well there are the hyenas the Bye. troublemakers who only serve to rile up the cattle